Hello and welcome to Tech Gadgets. Uh, today I'm going to show you the all new Verna 2018 facelifted version. Uh, so before going to the car, I would like to thank uh, Sasya Hyundai for allowing me to shoot the all new Verna. So if you want to purchase any car, you can contact the number given below. So Verna looks simpler, its basic stance is still plenty attractive. It retains the coupe like profile and now it's a bigger uh, long overall by 65mm and as the uh, wheelbase is also bigger by 30mm. It looks almost special and Honda has in skimmed out on kit, uh, flanking the now signature cascading front grille and two projector headlamps with daytime running lamps uh, and LED lighting but you do get a pair of projector fog lamps as well. And the wheels are packed well and the 16 inch diamond cut alloy wheels uh, make sure that the tail lamps are LED units uh, which uh, looks very good particularly when they are lit up in the dark and they are just not going overboard. The usage of chrome is minimalistic too compared to the outgoing version. The new Verna looks a bit mellow but the design is cohesive and you definitely won't accuse it of trying too hard. And glass half empty or depends on how you like your cars. The bigger wheelbase should have been translated into more room for the rear seat occupants uh, and uh, 6 foot frame just about managed to be comfortable in the rear branch uh, with the front seat set to driving position. The travel range on the front seats is a bit too much honestly. It offers good support while it offers some much needed uh, room for taller drivers to get comfortable behind the wheel. And it doesn't leave much uh, for those at the rear, push the front seats all the way back uh, and it won't be kind of even kits. The ergo lever from the old Verna has been ditched so you can't be cruel to the front passengers to let you sit in peace. And Honda has carved out some space under the front seats to let you rest your feet on the flat floor. And squeezing 3 in is possible but definitely not recommended. Although the hump on the floor isn't tall, the cabin doesn't feel wide enough to accommodate 3 in the comfort. Uh, and the sloping roofline eats into the headroom as well. The final piece of puzzle is the high set uh, window line that drops the cabin of its sense of space as well. And Honda has stuck with the tried and tested beige and black interior combination to uplift. Uh, and there's some brushed silver accents too that work well to lend some contrast. It does look chic but the design as well uh, looks good. Just like the exteriors, it is subdued and designed to not to distract uh, and what's really good is overall fit and finish and quality. It's nearly on par with Germans and it's very good as well. The top specification SX optional version is stuffed with the gills with features including ventilated seats, uh, a hands-free boot space uh, uh, and push button starter and leather seat covers. The SX uh, top specification diesel automatic misses on this and to the top of it. Uh, there are omissions such as adjustable rear headrest and a release switch uh, on the boot. The six airbags have been given a miss uh, and the top specification diesel automatic gets dual airbags and anti-lock brakes like the rest of the Verna range. It does get the feel-good features uh, that include the one-touch open uh, close electric sunroof, uh, the 7-inch touchscreen infotainment system in Android Auto and Apple CarPlay with navigation as well. And if you are seated at the rear, there is enough to keep your occupied too. You get a manual rear blind, a set of rear AC vents, a central armrest and a USB charger for your phone. And you better have a long cable because there is no place to keep the phone. And there is enough room for your luggage with 480 liter boot, uh, 20 liter bump up. Uh, is that not much as the city 510 liters and Sia's 510 liters. And you could say the same thing about uh, in the in-cabin space as well. But in terms of quality of materials used in the equipment on offer, the Verna has definitely hit the uh, number one position. And Honda has bid the smaller 1.4 litre engines uh, goodbye and you have 1.6 litre engines on offer now. These engines have been mildly updated in the interest of better drivability. These are paired with 6-speed manual or a 6-speed automatic gearbox. Uh, also it's got an all new chassis uh, I borrowed from its elder sibling the Elantra. The K2 platform did help the Verna shed some weight mm -hmm. and while the car is bigger and has gained quite a few features and uh, weight as much as the outgoing iteration as well. And available it from the reference uh, forest tipped the scales approximately 1200 kgs is the heaviest uh, avatar. And let's start off with 128 PS uh, with the 260 Nm diesel. On paper the power and torque figures remain unchanged but the torque has been made more accessible. New pistons and piston rings have helped reduce friction with an improved turbo has helped uh, improve the boost at uh, low RPMs. So the torque is delivered earlier and is spread wider across the rev range. And in fact at low as uh, 1250 RPM the diesel motor is already dishing out uh, 245 Nm uh, instead of 176 Nm uh, the older tune offered. Uh, 
and driving inside the city is a fast free affair the diesel was easy to drive in its earlier views and now the engine doesn't require you to downshift frequently either to slow down or a speed breaker or pace up uh, for a quick overtake as well and steady pace uh, in the name of game with diesel it can build speed effortlessly and maintain them too but it doesn't feel eager to get there uh, even on the highways you can dance out uh, your lane step on the gas execute a clean overtake as long as you aren't in a hurry and the petrol motor shares with the diesel it uh, too doesn't uh, like being a zit and prefers it uh, very good and it you uh, absolutely get to move on uh, you will have to keep it on a lower gear and make sure the tacko is ticking around 3500 to 5000 rpm because that's where the torque is pushed and it any further and runs out of steam in other words don't bother redlining it as well and while 123 ps and 151 newton meters uh, sound exciting on paper the engine is evidently tuned more for everyday usability and then outright performance as well and this car has been awarded indian car of the year 2018 also and honda has ensured that this ample torque at the bottom end and the engine now makes uh, 9 newton meters more the new 6 speed manual gearbox has taller ratios than outgoing 5 speed unit and it is sublime in the way it goes about its business for instance you can drop down as low as uh, 25 kilometers per liter in uh, and you can uh, shoot sh- flat footing it won't let you make swift progress but the face uh, it pulls without protest even uh, from such low speeds is appreciable both engines are smooth and refined especially on uh, startup and idle get a move on and the diesel sounds a bit uh, gruff under uh, 2000 rpm you can see how the sunroof is opened uh, it's looking very good and uh, the 6 speed automatic replaces the 4 speed unit that made the older one petrol a bit uh, uh, popular and makes it waste to the diesel variant for the first time as well respective of the engine it's mated with uh, gear shifts are quick smooth and more importantly early the gearbox complements the laid back nature of the engine's nicely the torque converter chooses the right gears at the right time and doesn't let you know uh, and what you are doing uh, and it feels a uh, lot of uh, road grip as well and it feels unpolished only when you break out uh, the heavy foot there's a whiff of lag before the gearbox sends the rev needle uh, into the other half of the tacko it feels slightly uh, jerky there's no sports mode and you get a manual mode instead uh, using the gear selector no paddle shifters but uh, uh, it has a, a very quicker uh, change in gears as well up shifts and down shifts as well finally Uh, what is the mileage of ARI certified is uh, it's 17.70 km per liter for petrol manual and 15.92 km per liter for petrol automatic and 24.75 km per liter uh, diesel manual and 21.2 km per liter for diesel automatic so these are our ARI certified uh, numbers and if the number crunching is your uh, jam check out uh, for specification comparison and the new K2 platform and revisions to the suspension geometry the Verna ride is uh, surprisingly absorbing its city speeds and it seems to be unfazed by road surface too the suspension just like the engine goes about its business in a silent manner it also gives you confidence to maintain triple digit speeds on highways uh, and the cabin remains composed and unless you encounter a really uneven section of road uh, you won't feel the hyundai bouncing and uh, chuck into the corner and you have taken a back against and this is a hyundai badge on the nose it remains uh, sure footed through the twists and doesn't make you want to back off from having some fun there is a hint of the body roll when hurried through corners but it's never overwhelming the steering tries to be just reassuring as the chassis but it falls short as by a whisker and uh, it's very quick uh, predictable and direct and it does a sp- surprisingly good job of uh, telling you what the front wheels are doing too but uh, calling it sporty might be a stretching things uh, too far The Verna might not be an outright sporty sedan but it's definitely the sportiest Honda yet uh, and uh, what is the uh, best quality is that it gives you the right mix of ride and handling that's a tough balance to achieve and a dare uh, as well it's the only one in its class to pull it off uh, and it's uh, very good as well the Verna doesn't wow you from the word go the design inside out is a lot subtle and sophisticated and may not be even uh, everyone stays and some might think it's boring but that doesn't take away from the fact that verna has evolved the grown up manners can be noticed when you drive it uh, be it petrol or diesel manual or automatic uh, more than that it manages to walk the tight rope between comfort and fun and then there is a the fit and finish equipment levels uh, and 3 year unlimited kilometer warranty if the back seat was a little more accommodating it would be an absolute no brainer in 
the competition and factor in the pricing that pecks uh, it between the Maruti Suzuki Sias and Honda City and it becomes a clear that even if Hyundai Verna isn't all that exciting it's hard to fault and impossible to ignore so is this the top specification has six airbags as well so hope that guys uh, you like this update uh, and you can see how the touch screen looks like it has different modes and it has automatic climate control as well so hope that guys you like this update please comment and subscribe for my channel for more tech and auto related updates thank you